Exercise 97. Let's continue with FG regular range. Remark. One, consider B theorem plus equate with this natural action by J. This is complete discrete valuation ring with uniformizer T. Now, which J acts through the cyclotomic character and with its fraction field we denote by drum and word this uniformizer It is a theorem, so let me put a point to two. That be the run plus GK equals K. And also be the run by jk equals k so this is telling you bj equals cj equals k since since this bit run is a field Follows that speed around. The, the second condition is trivial, hence any non zero is uh, satisfied, whatever condition would be a unit of it. So this is QP JK regular. Remark two. Question. Is B the run plus? QP G regular so by this it's okay by the second condition it's wrong so we have this element T we constructed before which is in your ring B and it spans which is stable QP line right so this is it an action GK on it 
and as we described j of t chi j of t and this chi j is always in z p star so not zero and it spans this uh, also explains sometimes what is j stable means for whatever g j so uh, j of this qpt is still itself right In this example, while this element is not in unit element of this B drum plus because one over T is not there. Okay. Put this as the first part of the exercise today. Second remark very interesting examples. of this QPJK regular ring half of tens period rings decrease and be semi stable. We haven't defined what are those, so they are all they are all sub rings. Will be the run with some structures so we didn't prove it the QP JK regular by ultimately reducing to the case of B So they are QPGQ regular with with their GK environments host K zero. semi-stable this is k itself we didn't give a proof we just mentioned the result like this to prepare for later remark three the general axiomatic setting If B is an FG regular domain and with E denote C fixed by J equals B fixed by J, then 
for any object v in the category of f representations of finite dimensional f linear representations of g we define a functor db maps this we to space change to from f to b So I'm thinking of what, what's the relation between E and F in some literature, I remember. It is assumed that F is contained in E, F will close some field of E and so forth. And here, do we require F to be contained? So here, indeed, yes, because we're requiring this condition is that uh, B is F algebra equipped with G action as F algebra. So in particular, this F is contained here. F is G stable. We fix by G. And so this DB weighs E vector space equipped with. Canonical map to know by alpha V so this DB is now over over E, right? So the base change to B again. And you could think of this DBOV because it's carting out from this B tensor way. So there's a map. from db way to this b tensor way and the latter is also the same by the property of tensor product which 
maps too. B tensor V over F. This is a B linear J equivalent map. where G acts trivially on this D B away in the right tensor Factor of the source because it's fixed like J, right? So it's J tensor one. As a simple example. So this is our remark three. So let me put 3.1 as a simple example. Let me take V equals F itself. V is trivial. G action. We have this. By definition, B tensor over F takes the point fixed by J. And now the map alpha V is Is the identity map Mark three point two. It is not of width if this D be away. Lies in the category. 
divided by we say e so finite dimensional vector space over e but we will see that this is this is true and more than this is true Remark four, we will prove that so probably not in this video, but in several videos follows. Dimension of D B over, over E less equal than the dimension of V as F vector space. So this is uh, obviously vector space. Is it a finite dimensional? The answer is yes. And in fact, we can bound it. Remark 4.1. In the case the quality holds we call this way B can put a kind of definition B admissible representation For example, when we equals F, it's always B admissible. Because we have just saw it before. So this DB of F is E. And so the dimension is one, while the dimension of V is also one. Remark 4.3, in case we fix periodic field K, And let F to be Q P J equals J K then for B equals B hash tet this concept of B admissible. inside so B hash head admissible coincide with being a hash head representation Run. 
and from tens to finer. Period ring. Decrease. And BST, semi stable. The corresponding notion of the miscible. Right. Are called, which means those representations that are fit around, admissible or decrease, admissible or decrease, I mean, uh, be semi stable, admissible are called respectively drum representation. Uh, crystalline representation, semi stable representation. Zero. I'm not going to prove all of it in this video, but we will prove part of it. Let me put this as exercise two. This is a theorem. So 2.1. So let's, yeah, maybe state more about prove less. Let's point one the map. So fix the V as above. The map alpha v as described above is always injective and the dimension of this db v z vector space is less equal than dimension of V as a F vector space with equality if and only if alpha V is an isomorphism Which means this admissibility counts down to just to have the correct dimension for this G fixed points for we tensor is B. Right? In Surely, when you cut out by those fixed by J, there should be less elements, but this is telling you that. Well, when you cut out those fixed by J, when you extend scatter to is again, give you the same B vector space as you don't cut out at the beginning, which means it's it only hurt only hurts the coefficient in some sense it doesn't hurt uh, generating basis or you can always find a basis of it using G stable and see another in other words secondly 2.2 let representation F representation B Contending F representation be the full subcategory, full subcategory of B admissible 
representations. Covariant factor. DB, which define give give me a admissible F representation and map it to finite dimensional E vector space. Is exact. And faithful. And any sub representations or quotient. Be admissible representation is again be admissible. Two point three. If we have one, we two. To be admissible F representation, then there is natural isomorphism. B tensor is DB as E vector space is isomorphic to DB of with one tensor with two over with F as F vector space. So which means if you have two admissible then their tensor product is again admissible. Furthermore, if we start with B admissible, then it's due is also admissible. So kind of we are on the way to prove this is kind of a king category. And we have natural map. Natural map D, db of v tensor is db of v du. Isomorphism to db of v tensor v du. This comes from the first part of 2.3. Further, this have a map to db of f. So you could imagine just evaluate element of it you on the way this is e is a perfect duality between db away and db away due Particular this category of admissible filtered of the admissible be admissible F representation 
is stable under the formation of duos and tensor products you have representation and this db naturally commutes with the formation of these constructions both seeing representation B J and E vectors over E moreover B admissibility is preserved under the formation of exterior and symmetric powers which means if you start with via the miscible module and you to compute Construct this exterior power or symmetry power is again be admissible. And DB naturally commutes with both such constructions. So this is really a theorem. So I say we are going to prove this to point one. Well, well, we will prove the, the else later, I guess. So let's prove this to point one. Before we prove that, this would probably add one more remark. Remark one. So in the case f equals qp, j takes to be the absolute value group. K a periodic field and we take E to be just this K or E to be K zero. And the ring B then some ring has more structure. structures will be related to Frobenius filtration monodromy operator those structures structures on B that under this DB
text values. Yeah, category of finite dimensional vector space. Dode or equipped with more structures. And in this category, the morphism, those e linear maps. preserves or commutes or respect this extra structure. Second remark. DB can fail to be fully faithful. Counter examples are given for B equals Hodgetat. The run with the corresponding category target to be graded or filtered after spaces. This is very weak, far from being precise. I didn't even describe what it is category precisely. But for some more subtle period rings like BCREES, BST, we will see that it is full faithful. Functor. into some category. This is suitably enriched. category of linear algebra objects. As you could imagine, like something like filter, file, and modules, right? Third remark. Once the theorem is proved, there is then an alternative description of the be the visibility conditionally.
there is an alternative description of the B of the missivity condition. So before we describe it, our alpha way to be isomorphism, right? Now it said that B tensor V over F. with its B module structure and G action is isomorphic to a direct sum to be direct sum r times with sum r respecting b structure And G action. Indeed, why we say so? Since this alpha we is J equivalent and B linear. We get The necessary thing, the necessity of this alternative definition by just choosing the E basis for DB way. Then this E basis of DB way would give us a basis that is J environment. This is equivalent to saying that I'll give a trivial representation. Trivial B representation, right? If alpha A is isomorphism, then by choosing a basis from the DB way, you can uh, realize it as trivial representation. As for the converse direction, sufficiency, if we have this isomorphism at the beginning, as B modules, respecting G action then necessarily R equals the dimension of V as a factor space and then taking J invariance gives DB away on the left hand side isomorphic to because this is a trivial representation, just take J invariance on each part and then take the other sum. This gives you E, but R equals D, this gives you D also. Should not matter. As modules over E. And this is telling that the dimension of DB away over E equals D, which is the same as dimension of V over F. This is the alternative definition of the admissibility. Good.
you could think of this as uh, some exercise and this is the solution for it now let's prove this 2.1 Assume for the moment this alpha we is injective. Let's show the rest. Which means the dimension is less equal and it's less or less less equal and it's equal when if and only if the alpha is isomorphism. So we extend scalars from B to C. This is uh, this tensor product in general doesn't prove ejectivity, but this one prove, preserves because this is flat. This is flat as B body. We know in general this tensor product we can now say sub moduli tensor sub moduli sub moduli. It's very subtle. Yeah. Good notion of flatness, which gives you what you want to preserve injectivity. Now we have this DB away. Let's change to C as C subspace of C tensor F over away because DB away is contained in uh, B tensor away. and say tensor B tensor F wait right
I'm looking at this Tensor product. Uh, right, so. So we have dB weight, this is B tensor over F with weight, take fix point by J. And then this is over BJ, which is E. say this is a uh, submodule B tensor over F with V. If we want to do base change, I mean just Do this change. This is exact. It preserves injectivity. So did we get what we want? What's the relation with this? Maybe I'm stupid to ask this question. So this is not a B module, this is just a B fixed by G module. It's just the E module. Yeah, so let me put this as some exercise to think about this.
justify this sentence. I mean, if this is the case, then comparing C dimension on both sides, then we have the dimension of b away as you enter space because this is a vector space this is a free body okay uh wait so e is a field did i assume that and begin Require E to be a field. Okay. E is a field. Oh, very nice. Okay, so E is assumed always to be a field. So any E algebra is always flying toward E. So so this is over E. This is over B. Yeah. What if I just tensor over E with it tensor over E right because B is also E module It's also E module. And it doesn't matter if you just care about the C dimension, then you could still say that. This is a free F module, this is a free B module, and this is a free C module. And so you can, it's enough to just use this to conclude that the dimension of DB way over E is uh, less equal than the dimension of V over F. Let's show that in the case of equality, case of equality of dimension, say with common dimension D. Then the map alpha with isomorphism. The converse not being obvious. So now let E J be an E basis of D B way. 
and let we i yeah f pieces yeah we so ready to to these pieces. We can express alpha way using uh, d by d matrix b i j over b. Alpha weight. We have constructed it from B tensor DB weight. Let's quickly recall to B over B tensor V over F. Okay. Notice that as this. Say tensor over B alpha V. Is a C linear. Injective injection. Between C vector spaces with the same dimension D must be an isomorphism. We want to have this alpha v determinant unit element of v so that alpha v is an isomorphism over b. How do we do this? Now here comes this very interesting condition of FG regular, which is the same as we don't know where it comes from, but now we can use it, which is the condition as follows. This B is an FG regular ring. So to show the non-zero Determinant of alpha v is in fact a unit so this is non zero it could be seen here when you extend scanner to say uh, not changing the basis and so I extend scatter and then the alpha we become isomorphism it tells you that determinant cannot be zero but we don't know if it's a unit in B or not so we want to check whether it is a unit but it is a unit or not it's Suffices by the definition of regular FG regular ring. 
the surfaces to show it spans a J stable F line in B. Now let's do that. Look at the vectors J equals. Let's express it using the basis of weight. As element in db way this is we can do this because db way is a sub module of b tensor way right notice that those vectors are j invariant because it is in db way so when we pass to these exterior power of alpha way what do we have and this new map or new operator acts on the wedge of all those e1 to ed and it equals by the property of uh, exterior power the determinant of of those bij this is kind of changing basis of what it happens to the exterior power that's what we have and this is Environment. Because, because, because this is genuine environment, each one of it, right? This is a genuine environment vector. This is a genuine environment vector. B tensor with exterior wedge away or F right Notice that J acts on this with one wedge with D by some chapter. From J to F star. Just determinant of the given F linear G representation we Right, this is how, how it is, how we're acting this G on it, actually it's component-wisely acting on it. Sometimes you're using this, but 
and then how how is it it just comes out to again give gives out determinant determinant of, of a matrix the matrix determines on how it is g action a small g acting on the fixed basis right and comes out this is again character now we're going to use this equality to compare the two both sides i mean on the right hand on the right hand side and on the left hand side this tells us something not obviously the same so this means g must act on determinant of b i j which is not zero element here through F valued eta inverse, right? Because you, you know that you look when you look at the left hand side, this g x is trivial. But when you look at the right hand side, this g action should not be trivial because so there is a determinant of b i j. Okay, this is semi linear, there is action. But then on this wedge, this should every time give you action which should be some eta of j times this e1 wedge e d. And then here is this j of determinant of b i j, this thing. But you know this is invariant on the left hand side, and so this tells you that actually this again equals. Uh, determinant of B I J, which means the action of now that is by eta inverse, right? And so, in particular, this is uh, this means this is F stable, G stable F one with this determinant determinant of b i j this is j stable this is what we want and now it is only almost finished but not yet it's only left to prove what do I have to show you that? We'll show that uh, if that is um, if that is a quality, then the, the alpha will be an isomorphism. show that if that is equality of dimension then uh, alpha is isomorphism because we have shown that this determinant is a unit of b so it's isomorphism conversely if it's isomorphism have the same the dimension that's trivial okay so it left to show alpha is injective now fence this b is f G regular. We have E equals B J equals C G. By definition, we have G regular. Now we look at this D C V defined to be tensor product to C. This change to C and take the fixed point by G. We have a commutative diagram. So here we have B tensor over E. This is exact factor. Embeds into C tensor over E. Uh, wait, yeah. 
this is okay. Functor obviously uses that actually is injective. You can prove that. Similarly, here we have C tensor over F to V, and this is also injective. I mean, you can do it two step, right? You first do this, and then you do this. Right, that this left hand side is also injective. In general, tensor product doesn't preserve injective, as I said, but this is the case because it's flat in the module. So, to prove injectivity of the top. it's a physics. Prove it for the bottom. Hence, we can replace B with C. You look at the first row and the second row seems we could reduce the question to C. So to reduce to the case B is a field. And in this case the injectivity is the same as just check that alpha V carries an E basis of DP V to be linearly. independent set B tensor F Assuming that B is a field, actually, what we're talking about is B equals C, okay? So B is a field. We reduce to the case B is a field. Actually, we are saying that we could replace B with C. Okay, so now let's check if x1, x2, x r in this B tensor we have. They are E linear independent. And because they are in DBV, JU variant. J wiring means G fix uh, G X trivial dimension. Then G stable means it's still there. The image of something is still itself. 
then we want to show that they are bilinear independent. Prove that. Assume to the contrary. That there is a non-trivial bilinear dependence relation. Let's say as follows. Consider such a relation with minimal lengths. Minimal lens here, I mean. Minimal it minimal number of items x i with non zero coefficients in the linearly dependence relation. Suppose it is of the form x r equals this. some r bigger equal than 2 this is a e linearly dependent relation right we want to show it's b linearly dependence so those b i in b R is the, the largest uh, R is the largest index among this linearly dependent uh, dependence relation. This could be written as a linear combination of others with X I I smaller than R. I mean it's easy to move, reduce this to one because B is a field. Right. And I mean, sure, I cannot require all the bi to be non zero, but actually, I can, right? Because I mean, I have no restriction on which one is x1, x2, xr. You just have to have a linear independence relation and then I just reordering the index, right? I only care about how many how many uh, non zero items appear there. Okay. Now applying this 
this is a quiet a classical trick okay now applying this g and g we are going to use the power of this xr uh, g environment and then this gives on the left hand side this is still xr on the right hand side this is semi-linear action so jbi and j of xi is again xi and so same as you have another expression and this too should give you the same thing right but then it must tell you that term by term they must be the same otherwise otherwise you would have a linear independence relation at least removing xr and would make the minimal lens no, no longer minimal the minimal lens forces jbi equals bi for whatever j j and this implies all of those bi is actually the fixed point of uh, b and g which is e and then we have a non-trivial linear dependence relation over e this is contradicting that they are linearly independent okay so we have proved this maps a uh, linear, uh, linearly dependent uh, basis to a linearly dependent one in particular this should tell you this is subjective and because it's uh, a c-linear map over vector spaces, subjective and injective are the same so to prove the injectivity